Hello students, today we are going to learn new concept that is friend function. Friend function, which is also a very important concept, one of the very important ones in C++. As we know that we cannot access data members or member functions of a class which are declared outside the class or which are declared in the private section. That's wrong. Hello students. Today we are going to learn new concept which is called friend function. As we have learned about inline function, member functions, user defined functions, it's a new name, friend function. It is clear from the name that this function is quite friendly with the class. As we know that there are three kinds of access specifiers in a class, private, public and protected. Private, public and protected. And I have already told you in the previous lectures that private and protected members of a class cannot be accessed in the main function. However, we can access only public members outside the class. It is very clear to all of you, right? But there is a provision in C++ through which we can access private members or member functions outside the class also using friend function. So in today's topic, in today's lecture, we'll understand it, how we can do that. Um, now, what is a friend function? A friend function is a function that is specified outside a class, but has the same ability to access the class members that is protected and private members of the class. A friend can be a member function, function template or function or class or class template in which case the entire class and all its members are friends. So we can also create a class as a friend. Similar to friend function, we can also create class as a friend. So what is the need of friend function? Or do we really need it? In special cases, when a class private data needs to be accessed directly without using objects of that class, in that case, we can access friend function or we can access that data using friend function. For instance, let's consider two classes, director and doctor we may want the function gross salary to operate the objects of both these classes. The function does not need to be a member of either of these classes. Suppose if I want to make connection between two classes, in that case, I can use friend function. I'll give you that example in another program. But in this program, I'll make one class and create a friend function in it and tell you how it can access private data members of the class. So let's understand how it can be done. See, we have created a class integer with two data members, X and Y, which are declared in the private section. As we didn't mention private, so by default, the data members are in the private section. And in the public section, we have declared a data a member function set value, which will assign values to X and Y. So we have created only one member function that is set value. And it will assign value 65 to X and 45 to Y. Now this is a new thing for you. We have created a mean function with this special keyword friend. Here we have written friend, that means this friend function is friend to this class integer. It is not member function in the public section, but it is friend of class integer. And friend function can also be declared in the 
private section also because it is not in the scope of the class you should know that friend function is not in the scope of the class so we can declare it either in private section public section or protected section it doesn't matter and most of the time friend function has objects as argument you can see that here integer is a data type and s is the object name that means most of the time it has object as argument fine so these important things you need to remember first of all we need to write friend keyword and it can be declared either in private section or public or protected it doesn't matter because it is not in the scope of the class so it can be declared anywhere and the third one is most of the time it has object as argument object of the same class in which it is declared fine and we we can also create object as argument of another class also because if we want to make friend two classes then object of first class and object of second class will be its parameters over here okay so let's understand and the next concept up to here we have created the class now we will define this mean function the function name is mean outside the class friends function is always defined outside the class just like a normal function here we have started from int mean integer and here we here we have changed the name as g you can keep it as s also but we can change it because copy of object is passed not the reference so we can change the name over here but we don't need to write friend over here fine and inside it it will compute the mean function g dot x plus g dot y divided by two, and this result will be returned to the calling function. Fine. Now, in the main function, we will create object of class integer. You can see that integer i i dot set value. First of all, we have created the integer i. Then i dot set value. Then the function set value will be called. the control will go over here to the set value function let me show you control will go to the set value function over here where x will be set as 65 and y will be set as 45 then it will come back and now see out mean value mean i this function is called this is friend function here i is the object which we have created is passed as argument and control will go to the mean function over here where the value of i will be copied into g and now we can access g dot x which is 65 plus g dot y which is 45 these both values will be added and then division will be performed by 2 so whatever will be the answer that will be returned over here again and final answer will be displayed in this case the answer is 55 and then return zero the main thing that you need to understand in this program is that we have created a friend function mean and it is same just like a normal function in its definition we have declared it inside the class and defined it outside the class just like a normal user defined function because we didn't write any friend or inline keyword over here fine so now let's see the output of this program now we will compile it and run it compile and run now let's see the output screen let me show you see in this screen you can see that mean value is 55 so this is the output of adding two values and division by 2 that is 55 65 plus 45 110 divided by 2 which is 55 so this is the answer okay i hope you understand the concept thoroughly now move back to the coding screen so this is how you can 
get access to the private members of a class by making a friend function you must see that x and y both are in private section over here you can see that x and y are private members of the class integer however they are accessed in the main function just like normal function by making the function as friend so friend is used basically to deactivate or you can say to make access to the private or protected members of a class so this is about friend function now we'll understand the concept of friend classes so let's understand it again in the next program thank you